65 years, Enoch walked on the face of the earth, not knowing God. But at the age of 65, he came to know God, and the Bible says, Enoch walked with God 300 years. How long are you going to walk with him? Can you walk 300 minutes? 300 hours? Five minutes. Enoch walked 300 years Amen. in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. Amen. He held his integrity. Yes. Come on, church. And we got a much shorter span here. Surely you can walk with God in this hour. Amen. Uh -huh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. Now, Look out where it's fine, church. Well, they, they the listen carefully now. They that are after the flesh. Now, you got to decide tonight which one of these you're after. Amen. You see, there's no middle ground. You're either after one. Now, you make up your mind tonight as you read the scripture. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. Now, keep reading. I want to show you something. For to be carnally minded. minded. You all hear that, church? Carnally minded and freshly minded is the same thing. Amen. For to be carnally minded. Is that. Anybody want to die? Now listen, when he's talking about death, he's not talking about getting stiff and going to the morgue and getting buried. He's talking about eternal separation from God. Amen. For to be carnally minded is death. Is that. But to be what? Spiritually minded is life and peace. How many want life? Amen. We're talking eternal life here. Amen. How many want the peace of God? Amen. We're talking eternal peace. Amen. Can the church say amen again? Amen. Now, read that next verse. Because the carnal mind, the carnal mind is what? Enmity against God. against God, for it is not subject to the, Lord. to the law of God, neither indeed can. If a person's mind is carnal, mm -hmm. fleshly, they ain't listening to God. Amen. They ain't subject to the law of God. Amen. That's why they'll think you're crazy. Yes. Hello? Yes. But look at the next verse. So then, so then they, that are, they that are in the flesh, the flesh cannot please God. Cannot. Amen. Did y'all get that? Amen. Enoch had a testimony that he what? Please God. That's why Enoch was not in the flesh. He was in the spirit. Now, if you're in the flesh, you cannot. Y'all get that? Amen. How many go walk out in the spirit after the night? In the flesh. Let's go to Galatians. And I gotta teach you like the word say. Amen. It'll do you good. Galatians chapter 5. We have a description of what it means to be living in the flesh. You got folks that say they're saved and on their way to heaven, and they're involved in these things of the flesh. You can't please God like that. Amen. How many want to please God according to the word of God? Amen. Let's go. Galatians 5, and you have it say amen. amen. Verse 19. Now, the works, the works of, the flesh of the flesh are, manifest. are what? Manifest. They are manifest. Are now, these? in other words, God is going to show you the sins that you become involved in, and if it becomes embedded in your life, you cannot please God. Now, the key to overcoming is in verse 16. Read that. What does it say? This I say then. This I say then. Walk in the Spirit. Do what, church? Walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. And ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. And what happened? Ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. If you walk in the Spirit, not you might not, but you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. See that thing you're living in called flesh? Got a bad habit. 
Oh yeah, not. You wake up in the morning, run it out, or run wild. Yeah. It won't take over. Amen. It won't dictate to you. Yeah. Until you gotta realize when he doesn't have enough, he laying down, he going back to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't feel nothing, you know, he going back to sleep. Yeah. Going to Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Dust thou art, and the dust thou shalt return. And then the real you gonna have to answer the God. Amen. Don't pay the flesh no mind. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now let me show you where the Bible is. Look at verse 17, what it says. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. There is a tug of war going on. The spirit said, do this. The flesh said, no boy, do this. This battle for you. You know you like this. You know you enjoy this. And the Spirit said, now listen, that can cost you to die. Amen. That can cost you eternal life. Yeah. That can cost you eternal separation. Yeah. And the flesh comes along and says, that's all right. You can do it and then pray about it. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all still in church? Amen. Amen. For the flesh lusted against the Spirit and the Spirit against the flesh. And listen to this. And these are contrary the one to the other. The two don't mix. Amen. You can't say you're in the spirit and you're in the flesh at the same time. Amen. Hello, church. Amen. So that you cannot do the things that you would. You want to do good, the evil is present with you. Can the church say amen? amen. Your mind telling you you got to do good, but the flesh saying, not right now. Amen. You can come around to that. Can the church say amen? amen? So let's see what the works of the flesh are. If you're doing these things, church, you cannot please God. They that are in the flesh cannot please God. Verse 19 again. Read it. What does it say? Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Who's at the very top? Adultery. Who's at the very top church? Adultery. Adultery has become a common sin nowadays. Amen. They're playing with it. From Hollywood to the bum on the street. They treat adultery like it's a normal lifestyle. Church, say amen. amen. Married one day, divorce the next. Make a joke out of it. You ain't supposed to have one wife in one lifetime as long as she's living. Can the church say amen? amen? But adultery has become so prevalent. In the church today. Now we know the world, the world gone crazy with it. But now it has crept into the church. And that's why God is warning the church. The works of the flesh. Number one at the very top. Adultery. Yeah. Husbands you got to satisfy with your one wife. Yeah. Wife. Satisfy with your one husband. So I'm looking over the fence thinking that one over there better. Amen. Hello? Amen. Stop looking at the gal walking down the street, but she looked better than my wife. Amen. A sin walking there. Amen. Adultery! Yes, sir. Right at the very top! Come on now. Then you got those preachers that are going around today that are saying fornication and adultery is the same thing. No, sir, brother, because God is not repetitious. Amen. The sin that's number one is what? Adultery. Amen. The second on the list is what? Fornication. Amen. Young people and old people that are not married and having sexual relations, you are committing fornication. Yes, You ain't married? Nothing for you. Amen. 
church say amen. amen. The Bible says to avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife. Amen. And every woman have her own husband. The word of God also says now the body is not for fornication. You are bought with a price. That's not your body to do it as you please. Hello? Those of you all who made the mistakes in the past, well then, thank God, God, God delivered you and set you free. But now that God done set you free, what, what can stop you from crying out against that sin? You got to let the next generation know. You might have made those mistakes, but you don't want them to make those mistakes. Hello? So who's at the number top? Adultery? Fornication. Fornication. These are the works of the flesh. And I know folks don't like to hear it. All they preach about is adultery and fornication. Adultery and fornication. No, sir, brother. There's more than just adultery and fornication. Who's coming up next on the list? Uncleanness. Uncleanness. Amen. That is the sin of homosexuality. Yes, man with man working that which is unseemly. Woman with woman working that which is unseemly. And bestiality, according to the word of God. Man lying down to beast. What the Bible call that? Confusion. Yeah. Hello? Amen. Poor animals confused. That's an unclean lifestyle. Amen. Two man, two woman, man and animal, woman and animal. God says unclean. If you read Leviticus chapter 18, he says these are the sins that the people committed in the land, and the land did what? The land spew them out. Amen. And he said, don't you commit those sins, lest the land spew you out also. And those are the very sins that he named as being unclean. Can the church say amen? Can't you see what they're doing? They're now trying to force man and man relationship, woman and woman relationship. Amen. So uncleanness, and then the next on the list is lasciviousness. Mm -hmm. Reading Playboy magazines, Playgirl magazines, watching X rated movies, double X, triple X, quadruple X, how many other X's they might have, looking at naked men and naked women creates a lewd and lascivious spirit in the hearts of mankind. Yeah, man. Now that's what the world is doing. What the church doing watching pornographic movies. Yeah, that that's classified as lasciviousness. Yeah, How can you please God in that fashion? If the rapture takes place at that time and you sit up on your bed watching a triple X movie, where you think you're going? You ain't going to hear the melody of heaven, church. Amen. You're walking in the, in the flesh. Amen. That's not walking in the spirit. You can't be walking in the spirit, watching homosexual movies, lesbian movies, reading filthy magazines, looking at half-naked women, swimsuit magazines. Mm -hmm. The Bible calls it lasciviousness. They that are in the flesh, hear not, please God. please God. Who else is coming up there in the flesh? I, idolatry. idolatry. Now this is one of the most difficult for some of church people to get into. You know, God don't want you bowing down to idols. No. Not only don't want you bowing down to idols, he says, make unto thee no graven image to defile yourself therewith. Idols and idolatry will defile your spirit. Amen. Now you might have it sitting up in your stomach child. That, that just sitting there. That don't bother me. I don't worship that. The fact that you have it there is against the word of God. Amen. He said don't make it. Uh -huh. Hello. Don't bring it in your house. Uh -huh. Then he say don't bow down to it. Can the church say amen? amen. What's so hard about that? The pastor, you know, I pay twelve hundred.